Well, I freaked out. How's it going? Uh, it's going to be our first uh, actual video lesson. So we're moving on to the unit called Relations and Functions. Uh, the way that I'd like you to go about this, is I know that we're online, so it's, it's easy to, to watch the video and the notes are there. You can screen capture. I, I want you to actually be writing these notes down, though. Uh, I find that you'll understand the material a little bit better if we do something like that. So uh, our unit is called Relations and Functions, and it might take me a few tries to make sure the framing is okay for this, so bear with me. All right, so before we get into anything really, we need to understand some of the words that we're going to see in this unit. So to understand uh, the unit, we need to understand some of the vocabulary that we're, that we're dealing with. So we're going to list a couple of words down and try to make sense of them. And then we'll go through a couple of examples that, uh, that hopefully make a little more sense. Uh, the first word that I want to look at is something called a set. And a set is simply just a collection of a bunch of distinct objects. Uh, so a set, for example, could be this classroom. So when we're all in this classroom, you are all a part of this set. And then across the hallway, that's where Ms. Ecton's room is, um, that would be another set of students. So a set is a collection of a distinct set of objects. Okay, and I'll give you an example of that uh, shortly. But there's one other word that I want to show you first, and that's something else called an element. An element is specifically one of those objects in that set. So if I chose this classroom to be my set, I could point at just one of you and you would be an individual element as part of this set. Okay, so those are our definitions that we're going to start with, and then we're going to go into a couple of examples to, to hopefully understand what these words mean. And we're, we're building towards the relations and the functions, but we need to understand these words so that we can, we can get that, um, first of all. So this is an example of a set, and we could call this set, I don't know, fruits. Let's do that. So we have a bunch of distinct objects, these guys over here, and we could call this set fruit. You can call it food. You could, I don't know, what else could you call it? other words to describe this but that is our set okay now each individual fruit in this set for example just the blueberry that would be an example of an element it is one part of the set Now the reason for these words is so that now we can actually define something called a relation. And a relation is when we're able to connect the elements from one set. So now we know what elements are, we know what a set is. If we have two of these lists, so two sets, and we are able to connect the elements between those two sets, that would be an example of a relation. Okay. So we don't mind me skipping ahead there for a second, but I just erased a couple of the notes. We still have our set over here, which we call fruits, but I'm going to write another set down as well. My second set, we could call them colors, maybe. Um, I was going to call them primary colors, but then I realized I put an extra one in there. By the way, we have we have two sets now. Okay, we have two sets of data, and a relation is when we're able to compare, or we're able to connect two of the, uh, the elements in these sets. So for example, I have an apple over here, and I've seen a red apple before. 
So a relationship between an apple and the color red is that an apple can be the color red. But I've actually seen a yellow apple before too. So I could also say that an apple could be the color yellow. Now I've never seen a blue apple before and I guess you could paint an apple blue and but for the sake of this, let's say we went to a grocery store, you're not going to find a blue apple. You might, however, find a green apple. So what I'm doing is I'm relating the elements from one set. So apple is the element from my first set, and I'm relating them to elements in my second set. So I can say the apple is related to red, it's related to yellow, and it's related to green. I can do the same thing with banana. I'll use a different color just so that I don't make this a little bit too messy. So banana, I've only seen yellow or green bananas, so I'm only going to connect that to yellow and to green. And cherries, I've only ever seen red cherries before. I'm going to connect that one to red. And blueberries, I've seen blue blueberries, comes from the name. I've seen green ones too. So we'll go with that. And basically, what I've done here is something that we call an arrow diagram. An arrow diagram lists all of the elements of one set, all of the elements in another set, and shows a relationship between the two. In your practice, you're going to be asked to draw a arrow diagram, so just be aware that this is what we're looking for in that case. Now, there's one other piece that's really important with the way that we draw these arrow diagrams, and it's actually the arrows themselves. There's some significance to that. We have to label what those arrows mean. So for example, I could say, I could say that the arrows mean could be the color and that to label my arrow that way. And then that adds some significance to the arrow heads that are on those arrows, right? I can't draw an arrow going from red to apple because I would never say red could be the color apple. Oh, I might. Can I see that if you drew both well, that uh, sweet apple red? Um, yeah, I guess. Oh, nice, bro. I prefer my apple greens, though. But it's a good pick. Yeah, I don't. We're not doing that. So the arrowheads are significant when we're drawing something like this. Sorry, I'm getting out of frame here. That's okay. Now, there's two other ways that we can represent these relationships. Uh, before I get that down, let me give you a note on what a relationship is because it's not, um, it's not here yet. Well, that's in frame, it looks like it. So a relation is when two elements from different sets can be connected. Now in your practice, they're probably going to give you, well, not probably, I know for a fact, they're gonna give you some lists like apple, banana, cherry, red, yellow, blue, green, but they're not gonna, they're not gonna tell you what the arrow stands for, you gotta figure that part out. And that's a bit of the challenge, right? So that's, that's where the difficulty is um, at the beginning of this unit. And uh, just to recall from last semester, I know a lot of students struggled with this being mapped. Uh, you have to trust me on this, this builds up to when we go into functions. Uh, we're not there yet, but we have to understand relations before we can go there. So this is a quick intro on that. Now, if you can uh, bear with me for a moment, uh, I'm going to clear the board and I'm going to show you two other ways that we can that we can represent a relationship. It's funny. Sorry, I'm just looking at my camera here. Even though I have that frame of reference, I still slant my, my writing and I'm working on that, but we're not there yet. Um, 
Yeah, so I've shown you the line diagrams. Uh, I also want to show you two other methods. One of them is simply just a list that we can have. Uh, and the other option is if we have a graph. So I'll show you both of those options because uh, you will have to practice both of them uh, shortly. But let's start off with uh, a list or a table, another way of, uh, of seeing that. Okay, so we're going to do uh, a table this time. And uh, the topic I'm going to choose is one that's right out of your textbooks. But we're going to look at dogs and their average heights. Now, away from your textbook for a second, I'm going to be abbreviating some of these dog breeds. So, uh, if you're a dog expert, cool. Please, uh, please understand that for the sake of having space to write on the boy of a breed, abbreviated some of the words. So, we're going to start off with just to realign that. This is an example of a table if we're looking at a relationship. Simply what's happening is whichever two elements are next to each other, those two are related. That's what we're saying with a table. Uh, in science, you typically see tables. That's usually the way that we represent relationships. Uh, in fact, I personally have never seen an arrow diagram in um, any of the science that I've done, but it might be useful. Some people like to have the arrow diagrams there. Uh, with regards to assessment, I likely will give you a question where you get a trauma mean arrow diagram. So it's good to have some practice on, on all three of them. But uh, yeah, this, this is a table. That's what a table looks like. Our third option is going to be a graph. So I'll show you what a graph looks like. It's very difficult to draw it on a board. Uh, so we're going to cut to the, uh, the screen capture here, and I'll show you what that is. I'll talk over it so you know what's going on as well. Uh, but then you can see a graph as well, and then we'll come back and take a look on the board. All right? Okay, so I just want to show you what, uh, what a graph looks like. So in this case here, I put my, um, my one set on the x-axis. That's my horizontal um, right on the bottom there. Uh, that's where you get all the different dog breeds. And on the left side, on my vertical axis, or my y-axis, I have all of my um, all my average heights. Now you should probably label your axes, but just for the sake of showing you a graph, I want to show you what it looks like. Um, but then just fill in with uh, some sort of color, you can shade it in up to each individual height. So it looks kind of like this if it decides to play here. See, that wasn't so bad. So here's some practice for you to look through. Uh, it's going to be some textbook questions. Uh, when I get a chance, I will try to do some tutorial videos. Uh, we'll see what time looks like for that, because there's a few videos that need to be done. But we'll get there. All right, so get yourself a start on those, and uh, pick it up from there.